Hey, thank you guys for coming today. Yeah, what's up, bro? So I just started dating this girl. She is amazing, and I just don't want to screw it up. All right, I know exactly what to do. I am an expert at this. Okay, okay. So first, you're going to think about your needs, your wants, your desires. Yeah, now bury them. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, shove them way down deep. You want this to work? You want to not be abandoned? Then their needs take priority over yours every time. Okay, so how do I go about setting boundaries so that I'm not neglected? What's a boundary? Wow, terrible advice. What you need to do is be hot and cold. How so? Like, enjoy spending time together. Be affectionate, be playful, have fun. Show them that you're into them. Uh-huh. And then pull away hard. No. Yeah, ghost them real good. Why? She got too close, bro. She was smothering us. She wasn't smothering us. She was stealing our independence. I could feel it. Clearly, it's smarter to just be hyper aware of any threat that she's leaving you. You think so? Yeah, use her to cover up your own insecurities and fears and ask her for constant reassurance that she still loves you and isn't gonna leave. So needy. And when she occasionally forgets to text you back, assume the worst and send her like 25 texts and missed calls. That's how people know you love them. That doesn't sound like love. That would scare off even a sane person. Don't be crazy, bro. Let's not forget, distance equals safety, right? You can't trust people. They've hurt you too bad in the past. Closeness means you're setting yourself up to be hurt again. But then you'll never experience deep intimacy and trust and vulnerability with someone. I don't know what those words mean, but I know they make me very uncomfortable. I think we can all agree that it's a good idea to rely on someone else to feel whole as a person. I mean, they complete us. How am I supposed to know I'm valuable if they don't see me as valuable? That sounds dangerously unhealthy. No, I'm not the unhealthy one. Remember, I just want closeness and connection. Then how come every guy you date is a narcissist? Wow, victim blame much. I'm just trying to recreate the dysfunctional relationship I had with my dad so I can finally heal, okay? Healing? It sounds to me like you're both letting fear drive your relationships. Like neither of you are actually being vulnerable or emotionally available, right? I'm emotionally available. I'll just never be satisfied because I don't actually trust the closeness and connection that I get, so I'll keep criticizing them and making them prove that they love me by raising the bar. Okay, I see what you did there. I'm not afraid of anything, except for maybe you seeing into my shame and realizing I'm a deeply flawed person and then taking away love like my caregivers do. Oh crap. I think you both just don't want to be hurt again. One of you abandons your partner to stay safe, but the other abandons themselves. But neither of you are actually being vulnerable or honest. You've still got your walls up, which means you won't ever get the closeness and connection you actually want deep down. Is that true? And it's easy to get trapped in these conflicts where we both label each other as the bad guy and we build up resentment and we're critical and passive aggressive or defensive and dismissive, which only drives us farther apart, right? Because no one ever taught us that healthy conflict can actually bring us closer together. Wow. You don't know anything about relationships, do you? Yeah, we were just trying to help. Good luck with your emotionally safe relationship. Okay. Sounds so boring, right? I am so attracted to you right now. We should get into a long-term situationship. <laughs> Deal. Yeah, that'll work out.